Hello, for this video, we are asked to find the centroid of this shape shown here. So we've got kind of an L-shaped bracket. Uh, it's three inches long, three inches high. Uh, and we're asked to find the centroid. So to find the centroid, we're going to be using integration for this problem. Uh, and we're going to be integrating along the x, integrating along the y, to find the x and y uh, components of the centroid. So we'll start with x. So the x-coordinate of our centroid, x-bar, uh, is going to be equal to the integral from x-min to x-max um, of our height function, dA. So for this, we can see that we kind of need to break this up. Uh, so for the first inch or so, the height is 3 inches. And then we jump down, and then for the next 2 inches, the height is going to be equal to 1 inch. Um, so our change in height. Our, our, sorry, our height at any given point, uh, we need to break down. So the integral uh, from 0 to 1 dA times x plus the integral uh, from 1 out to 3 is the second part. So this is dA1, uh, and we call the second one dA2 times x and divide that whole thing by the area. All right, so what is dA1 and dA2? Uh, well, the change in area as we move from left to right is going to just be the height. Uh, so dA1, that's this height up here, uh, is just going to be equal to 3. That's the height for, from 0 to 1. Uh, dA2 is just going to be equal to 1. That's the height from 1 all the way out to 3. So we can plug those values in. So 1, we still need to multiply by x. It's going to be our moment integral. Plus the integral from 1 to 3. Or sorry, this first one, the height is 3. And the second one, the height is 1 times x. Divide that whole thing by the area. Uh, the in area here, and we can kind of quickly figure out. So we've got this vertical section. I'll break it into two pieces. Uh, it's one inch wide by three inches tall. Uh, it's going to be three square inches. The second part is going to be two inches wide by one inch tall. It's two square inches. So the total area here is going to be five square inches. All right, let's evaluate these integrals. So x bar is going to be, if we evaluate uh, 3 times x, uh, we're going to get 3 halves x squared. So I evaluate it from 0 to 1 of 3 halves x squared plus evaluated from 1 to 3 of just x. So that's going to be 1 half x squared. Divide that whole thing by our area of 5 inches. All right, so evaluating this from 0 to 1, uh, we're going to plug in 1 for each value of, for the value of x. So it'll be 3 halves times 1 squared. And we subtract off the initial value. So 3 halves times 0 squared, which is going to be 0. We're going to add in the second integral, or sorry, the, what was the second integral. So plus um, 1 half times 3 squared, so we plug in 3. And then we subtract off our initial value. Uh, our initial value is 1, so we subtract off uh, 1 half times 1 squared. Still divide this whole thing by 5. Uh, and if we evaluate this out, we should get an x bar value uh, of approximately um, <clears throat> of approximately 1.1 inches. All right, so that is the x coordinate of our centroid. For the y coordinate, we run through what's basically the same calculation. Um, so, y bar 
is going to be the integral from y min to y max. Uh, so again, uh, we're going to ignore the da we had initially, draw in some new da's. Uh, so as we go from the bottom up to the top, we again need to split it into sections. Uh, so for this first section, from 0 to 1 inch, uh, my width is going to be uh, 3 inches. Uh, and then for the next 2 inches, my width is going to be 1 inch. So the width, da1, is over here. That's going to be equal to 3. Uh, da2 in the y direction is also going to be 1. So integral from 0 to 1 of da1 times y plus the integral from 1 out to 3 of da2 times y. Uh, and this whole thing is divided by the area. Uh, and again, I said um, da1, the width from 0 up to 1 inch vertically uh, is going to be 3 inches. So the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 times y plus for da2, the integral from 1 to 3, the width in that section is going to be 1 inch. So 1, to make a moderate integral, I've got y from here. Uh, and then divide by the area. Again, that's still just five squared inches. Five square inches. All right. So evaluate my integral. Uh, if I evaluate from zero to one the integral of three y, uh, that'll give me three halves y squared plus. Uh, the evaluation, uh, I want to go to 1 to 3 of just y. Uh, it's going to be 1 to 3 of 1 half y squared. Divide that whole thing by y squared inches. Uh, and I can evaluate this out. So I plug in 1 for every value of y. Uh, so I've got 3 halves times 1 squared, subtract off the initial value, so I plug in 0 for every value, when I do that I get 0. I need to add in the center, second integral. So I plug in 3 for every value, so 1 half times 3 squared, uh, and then I subtract off uh, the initial value of 1, so minus one half times one squared. Divide that whole thing by the area. Uh, five inches squared. And I should end up with a final value of y bar equal to 1.1 inches. It's the same value that I had for x bar. So x bar equals 1.1 inches y bar equals 1.1 inches. Uh, and what does that mean for our centroid? Well, our centroid is just a little bit further out here. Um, so I go out by about 1.1 inches. I go up by about 1.1 inches. Uh, my integral, or sorry, my centroid of the shape is going to be right about there. Uh, so it's actually outside of the shape in this case. Uh, it does happen that way. Uh, if you end up with a centroid way off to one side or the other, that's an obvious error, but it can be outside of the actual shape. So with that, we've solved for our centroid, uh, and we've solved our problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.